Hi, my name is Stephen, coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. And today we're going to show you how to estimate using initiatives, features, epics and stories. First off, we'll show that kind of theory of estimation over the different project phases and then break down an example project. We'll then finally take that example project and we'll wrap it back up into the whole theory and show you how it all fits together. So let's dive in. So here we've got our standard project phases and in this example we've got ideation, shaping, execution and monitor but it can be whatever your standard phases are within your organisation. And the idea is that at the very beginning during that initiation phase is that you do that very high level ballpark estimation on the project. So that sort of t-shirt sizing, um, so that might be small, medium, large and typically that would relate to some sort of day figure, whatever kind of is relevant for your organisation. You would then break that project down into individual features and these would be individually t-shirt sized during a separate session and that would roll up into a more realistic estimate because you've got a little bit more information that's come along as you've start, you started to shape this out. Then you would take those features and you would break them down um, typically more with technical resources or whatever resources make sense that have more information. Uh, and these features down into epics and these epics are t-shirt sized and rolled up again to improve the overall estimate. As you start getting into execution then these stories are created from these epics typically by the project team and um, that's going to be doing the work. Here you're getting much more bottom up um, estimation you know that also will happen during the epic breakdown as well uh, and this gives you your kind of your most accurate estimate of, of what's going on. Then finally, you would have your actuals uh, once you've kind of gone into that monitor phase when the project's finished. And then these can be you know, tracked back to what the original estimates were um, purely to try and improve the whole process. You know, This isn't a finger pointing exercise. It really is how to improve that process of that estimation over time for all the projects that are coming down the pipe. So let's now take a, an example project and see what that really means. So here we've got some sort of top level project um, that's been that's been uh, proposed by by the business or the project managers or, or whoever. Uh, and in this example, we've got a project to create a mobile channel for customers to access energy usage in real time. But this can be absolutely anything. It doesn't even have to be a technical project. And in this example, we've got a T-shirt sizing to say maybe this is a medium and in this organization, maybe mediums are about 200 days. So that gives you your first finger in the air of an idea of how long this project's going to take. Then you would break those down into features and here maybe we've got two features. We've got a kind of view usage since last bill and maybe that's a large and then maybe there's a non-functional requirement where there's you're wanting that superior user experience and that's also a large. Uh, and maybe in this organisation your know, features are 90 days so you get two of those so 180 days. A little bit less than the, than the initial estimate but you've got a bit more information that's come into the project. These features are then broken down again into epics. So here we've got four epics. We're going to build the um, the shell of the of the mobile app itself. We're then going to build that kind of the view history part of it, and these are both larges. They've got an integration channel which is kind of pointing back to the data, you know, to um, bring the data into the mobile app itself. And then you've got that superior UX, you know, to go over the whole thing and to make it really slick. So maybe here you've got two large, two mediums, uh, and maybe in this organization with, with what they're doing with t-shirt sizing, maybe that's 160 days. So you can see that's come down quite a lot since the initial estimate, but we've got more information now, so the estimate's a bit more robust. Here, um, you then break down into the stories and you're really getting the team members and the people who are gonna really be doing the work, they're getting much more involved and breaking those individual stories down. You know, Primarily, this is during the execution phase, and in this example, maybe there's five large, 20 medium, 30 small, you know, whatever it is. And this one's uh, come in around about 170 days using their um, their estimation of their t-shirt sizing. So a little bit more than the epics, a bit less than what the initial idea was, but this should be a, a, a lot more robust. And a side note here, two things. One, the, the breakdown that we've got of initiative, feature, epic story here, um, it could be a different sort of hierarchy, you know, it works perfectly fine as well. And in here, just to make this simple, stories, I'm just using days rather than story points. But then let's now use this and then bring it back into what we had um, within the project phasing. So here we're back uh, into the example breakdown and you know, within the ideation phase, we thought this was going to be 200 days. 
then into shaping we kind of uh, we had you know a couple of features we think this is maybe 180 days into, into the epic part of it but more bottom up that's happening here it's 160 and then into execution we're 170 days uh, and then finally you know once the the project goes into that sort of monitor phase you can track back and see did the 170 days really play out and if it didn't, then potentially improve that process over time and, and, and learn uh, some lessons about what's going on. So in summary, um, projects can be iteratively broken down across those project phases into initiatives, features, epics and stories. This is done over time, you know, to give that higher fidelity, you know, the more information that you have, the more robust these estimates actually become. It's quite lightweight, um, but it provides strong guardrails and feedback and transparency um, for the people who are looking and managing the project from a portfolio point of view, but also to help the team and to schedule their own work with what's going on as well. So that's it. Many thanks for watching this video. Um, please like and subscribe uh, on the buttons below. And if you could leave a comment, um, that would really help. You know, stuff that you like, stuff that you'd like to see in the next videos, that would be great. Uh, until the next time, cheers.